Chamber's Global Intellectual Property Center visited Times Square to put consumers to the test. Could they tell real products from fake ones? Their responses may surprise you. One of these is real and one of these is fake. Do you think you know which one? I would say that's the real one. Why do you think that's the real one? It just looks more authentic. What if I told you this is the fake one? You'd have me. <laughs> have you ever unknowingly bought a counterfeit product and then you get it and you're like, something's not right with this? No. We own a pharmacy in Dallas, in, in Arlington. And I'm a caregiver as well. I deal with medication seven days out of the week. Okay. So I'm very particular about the medicine. If they change the color, I'm always calling the pharmacy to find out because the lady that I take care of, she's 82 years old, I cannot afford to give her any fake medicine. So we've got two products here. Okay. One's real and one's fake. Can you tell me which one's which? Uh, it's kind of hard. They kind of look very similar, but I, I could tell the difference in taste and like freshness, freshness wise. Uh, I smoked bootleg or counterfeit cigarettes before and they give me headaches. So one of these is real and one of these is fake. Do you think you can tell which one's real and which one's fake? Uh, let me see. Not really. Does that make you a little bit nervous about some of the stuff you buy? Of course. Why, why does it make you nervous? Because you don't want to cause a fire you know, in your own house. So I bought a Yankee hat from a vendor and comes to find out it wasn't even authentic. Did you think it was real when you bought yeah, it? Yeah, I did. It had a label and everything. Have you ever thought about some of the other stuff that's counterfeit, like medicines or baby formula or some of the things like that? That's Absolutely. Scary. Counterfeit drugs, you're getting into a whole different arena then. You're actually imbibing it, and that's, and that's very frightening. 